Hello everyone out there, this is Latios Azure, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Extreme Lock. Here we are at the top of the bell tower since last time we took on Ho oh. This time we're gonna head back to Kanto. I mean, yeah. So we can continue on our quest to get all 16 badges. Now, since we're here. Let's just take a little look around Route 26, because... Okay, the repels were off from last time, that's, that's interesting. That happened. I mean, we're all healed up as far as uh, HP goes, but the power points can't hurt. <coughs> Let's eradicate. Not that it really matters, but there's another house here that has a very interesting family that pretty much lives there. They're not there, clearly, but... I always thought it was kind of cool that they had a... <coughs> a house here for those people. A family of seven children. They all have their own bed, I don't know, I just went in someone's bed, that's kind of weird. But, um... Yeah. Interesting house. To my brothers and sisters, we take pride in serving the Pokemon trainers. When trainers talk to you, give them something useful. Love, Monica. Keep reading? Okay, sure. Monday, Monica, Route 40, Tuesday, Tuscany, Route 29, Wednesday, Wesley, Route Lake of Rage, Thursday, Arthur, Route 36, Friday, Frida, Route 32, Saturday, Santos, Blackthorn City, and Sunday, Sunny, at 37. <coughs> so if you find those people, you get certain items. And it's always nice to get something. Oops, why did I just fly to... I don't know what I'm thinking. I just lost my mind completely. I guess I'm doing a lot of flying today. Well. Whatever the case, let's get to Fuchsia City. Now, are we ready to take on Koga's daughter? Okay, uh... Victor, if he can battle, that would be very useful. Chintiso, you can't work in this gym. Vance can maybe do a little bit, I'm thinking. Deb might get some work with an extra sensory. I don't know about Dexter. Ah! So we have a bunch of glass walls, and a bunch of people who may or may not be the gym leader. Okay, this is not the gym leader. Um, maybe she's just sitting where Kogo usually is? I don't know. Whatever. Just take the experience and move on. Ivysaur. Uh, well, I guess Vince is going to be putting in some work here. The thing is, I'm thinking, do I want to use Travis? <laughs> Slack off. That's not a bad move. Um, Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of confusion. Although it's nice to have the chance to confuse hacks, its physical attack is better than its special attack. 
and then head what's a better move um, anyway. Oh, wait a minute, its special attack is greater than its physical attack now? When did that happen? What's that after it evolved? Huh. I haven't been paying attention to its stats, clearly. Some trainer I am. Okay, well, nonetheless, I went for a sludge bomb on a crowbat. Really? Man, th th this is... Okay. Well, could this possibly be the gym leader? Oh, okay, she's only joking. She's the real deal. Janine of Fuchsia Gym. That's me. Okay. Alright, so here we go against Janine, the poison type gym leader of Fuchsia City, Koga's daughter. I'm thinking that I accidentally call her Jasmine, so I might have been thinking of the steel type leader of Olivine. They both throw a J.A., so. See my confusion. Speaking of confusion, Dexter, snap out of it. Alright, we got a pair of hacks. She's probably gonna go for like a full restore or whatnot. Dexter, way to step out of it! Alright, see, Dexter's less confused than me. Wheezing. Oh gosh, this thing is scary as anything. Way to go, Dexter. Dominating Janine. Okay. Venomoth. I'm gonna switch to Vince for this, I'm thinking. Probably just fly up in the sky and then... Oh no. Okay, good, we hit. Alright. <laughs> there it is. That is. That's funny. Do you think you can slow down Vince? Not gonna happen. Nice try, but not gonna happen. Okay, Vince Reed level 55. That is awesome. Okay, another Aridus. <laughs> wow. I don't even know why I was afraid of this gym. I, I, I have no idea. This is... Yeah, so strong. I, I, I'd venture to say that battle was a cakewalk, but I guess there was a little bit of luck involved there. I see you have defeated Koga, my father, and a member of Elite Four to come here. No wonder you are strong. You definitely won. Here's the Soul Badge. Alright, we got the Soul Badge. Well, since this is Soul Silver, I, I guess that makes sense. And looks like all the people dressed up as her are no longer dressed up as her. All these invisible walls, they get in my way. I'm trying to go somewhere. Well, that was uh, a very anticlimactic battle. <laughs> so, Mother, stop spending my money! Alright, let's... You know what? Let's head toward, uh... Viridian City. Granted, I probably could, um... I probably could battle, um... Sabrina now, but I'm not going to. Oh my, oh my good nuggets. You're the first visitor I've had in a long time. Oh, you got a nugget. That's even nuggets of wisdom, so I'll have to do. Okay, whatever. Not even a big nugget, just a regular nugget. Although I don't think big nuggets existed before 5th gen. Sacred Ash? 
That is completely not helpful. Alright, here we are at Route 2. It looks like we're gonna have an encounter here. Or should I say we can have an encounter here? Or wait a minute. This is a different route, right? No, we already were here. We weren't at Route 3 yet. Yeah, we had the encounter up there the first time we were here. So, this is the same route. Wow, an encounter on the first step in the grass. The encounter ratio is horrible. I know there's the trainer house in, Ver in Viridian. That I, uh, there is no way I'm going to be doing that. Yeah, I'll believe you. You can catch a weedle, I'm sure, man. And then you can help a bunch of a bunch of people get missing now. Thank you for that, by the way. Now, here we are in Viridian City. Though this is not our final stop for the day, because, well, this would be very anticlimactic, wouldn't it? Route 1. Okay, and our encounter for Route 1 is a... something we can't catch either way. It's either going to be like a Pidgey or a Rattata, or a, um... Sentret, or like a Furret. And we already have... something like that on our team. No, wait a minute, we don't have a Furret, do we? Dexter, do we have a Furret? Yeah, we have an awesome ferret. The stupid encounter ratio! Oh my gosh! Actually, I probably could have done headbutt, and that would have probably gotten us like a Spearow or a Hoot Hoot. I don't think I'd mind a Hoot Hoot. Alright, so here we are in Pallet Town. I fear the game will crash if I don't save. Saving doesn't stop the game from crashing, it just stops me from having to fix everything if it does. Now my good brother is the gym leader in Viridian City, but he goes away often. Okay, that's that's kind of an odd way to greet someone. Hi, Earth's been away. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. I see none of his good news, but I do worry about him. Okay, so this is Red's room, I suppose. Hasn't been used in a long time. Well, I, I would have figured he would have, like, gone home at some point after he, you know, beat the Pokemon League. Ah, la la It's good to, of you to come all the way out to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you are collecting Kanto Gym Badges, I imagine it's hard, but the experience will surely help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. I don't need the Pokedex check, I'll just be on my way. So we'll have an encounter here too, although I feel like it's gonna end up being like a tentacle. I feel like it's gonna be a tentacle, so I'm just gonna take the encounter in the grass. A Tangela. Huh. I'm gonna go for a surf. That shouldn't be very effective. It shouldn't. Yeah. Well, wow, okay. Here we go for the Pokeball. Tangela, how would you like to join our team? All right. Alright. 
You know, why don't I just use a repel? Surfing on our fur. Okay. Alright, Dexter, time for a battle. Let's teach this trainer who has the Quagsire while you don't mess with a ferret. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Goodbye, Quagsire. I see Victor is starting to, um, well, help out with the, um, everything, I suppose. And artillery. Do I want to eat? Mm. I just get this horrible feeling if I go for Chintia, so it's going to pull out, like, a fire blast or something really bizarre. Tyson. So here we are at the, um, Cinnabar Island. It's, uh, it's a little bit less, um, the ravaged town of the past, uh, um, during the first gen games, it seemed kind of, well, flat. I don't see anything can erupt. Who are you? My name is Blue. I was once a Kanto champion, although it was short lived thanks to Red. Anyway, take a look, or, good look around you. Volcano erupts, and just like that, a whole town disappears. Okay, um. There was a volcano here? That's. I saw. I know there was a gym here, a mansion here, a lab here. A volcano. I never saw that in the first in the first gen games. Well, apparently that happened. We can go on whining and losing in Pokemon. But if nature so much as twitches, we can be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to defeat me for real, show me how many Kanto badges you've got. Five, you're not ready to battle me. Man, talk about... Talk about hurting my feelings. Well. Well, now we can fly everywhere on the map, which is always a good thing, I suppose. Well, more or less, I guess. Well, I guess the next gym would be, uh, the Saffron one, which is good that we happen to be in Saffron City, then. Let's see how Silf Co the Silf Company is doing. Well, we got an upgrade, that's not helpful. No, well, that happened. Okay. Um The karate dojo seems to be empty. Karate King is fighting in a cave for Johto. Alright, well, we didn't exactly head into Mount Mortar because we had no reason to. So, I guess next time we're going to be facing the gym in Saffron City and face the leader, Sabrina. So, I will see you then. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.